and welcome back to Conservative News Channel on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a variety of subjects, although the main topic is going to be the wall. We're going to talk about options that President Trump is likely to take in the near term and why he hasn't done it in the past. But before we get to it, let's talk about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She recently had two malignant tumors, I believe it was December the 21st, removed. What they effectively did was cut the bottom part of the lung where the two tumors existed. They were both malignant. She has had tumors in the past. Her health is obviously failing because today, for the first time in her tenure on the court, she will miss Monday's oral arguments. It's reasonable to assert that even though she was released from the hospital that she is having outpatient chemotherapy. And let me tell you, my father went through it and if that's what she's going through, she's going to miss a lot more than just this particular oral argument. Never before in the history of the Supreme Court has anyone with her health record remained on the court. The reason she's doing it is because she was too stupid to get out while Obama was president to be replaced by another liberal. And now she's sitting in a position where her health is failing and she can't stand the idea of Donald Trump picking another court nominee. I wish her the best. Regardless of politics, I never ever hope anyone any ill, but at her age, with the kind of diseases that she's already had. This is, I think, the second or third time she's had tumors, malignant tumors removed. It's very obvious that this is the route that she's probably going to die from. It's unfortunate. It's a painful death. My father went through it, and my mother went through it, and they both passed away. It is not a happy scene. I wish her the best, and God bless her in her trials. Ladies and gentlemen, the media recently, and for all time really, has always tried to paint every conservative as a gun-toting, Bible-thumping alcoholic and with no brains that just follows the party. What amazes me though is that to be a conservative it requires some independent thought, it requires your own analysis of the news, it requires you to look and find out the truth because the mainstream media today doesn't give us any truth anymore. Trump's complaints are real. Interestingly enough, the Obama administration had passed a law allowing propaganda to be used in the mainstream media. It seems to me Trump should make every effort in the world to reverse that law so that the mainstream media is no longer allowed to put out propaganda. When the decision was made to pass that legislation, it was basically suggesting that the CIA needed to be able to pump propaganda into the media to counter Russians or Chinese or other governments that were trying to control the minds of the American people. Well, in the end, what it's turned out to be is that they're pumping propaganda to press left-wing. You know, when you look at Democrats, you want to talk about NPCs, the mindless. They're not Republicans, they're Democrats. You know, how many Republicans do you see crying and screaming because someone used a trigger word? And they haven't seen it before. Look at this guy on screen. That's a Democrat. That's what they do. They cry. They scream. They can't stand information. All they want is to shut information that isn't supporting their positions out. And what kills me about most Democrats is they don't even have positions. All they really do is whatever the 4 a.m. talking point put out by the New World Order, they're just walking around with talking points ask questions of a Democrat, ask them to back up the talking point, and guess what? They have nothing to say. And when you have something to say, 
They'll often, if you're able to have an intelligent conversation, which is rare, they'll often look at you and make some statement like, well, you've studied up on this. I haven't. I'm at a disadvantage. So they feel like, well, if they haven't studied up on it, they're still in the right. They just haven't studied up on it. Well, it seems to me that people should study up on everything before they give an opinion. Let's get on to the wall. First of all, I wanted to bring up the fact that Kabach has a GoFundMe campaign for the border wall and it is probably going to shatter the GoFundMe campaign record. As you can see right now, as he has raised $19 million, his goal is $1 billion. And the reason I bring this up, ladies and gentlemen, is if you would go, I will put the link below so that you can click in and donate $30, donate $50, donate $100, donate whatever you can afford. The more people that make a donation here, the bigger the signal we send to Washington that the American people are behind this. You can. Last time I looked, it was already over 300,000 people had made a donation. If we can get just a third of the population, or even 25% of the population, to donate 60 bucks, we can actually fund this wall ourselves, even though Donald Trump knows that he can build that wall without Congress. Let's talk about that for a minute. In a national emergency, which Trump is talking about, he can build the wall. He can have the military build the wall. In fact, we all ought to thank Soros for funding this attack on the southern border with these many thousands of caravan walkers for creating a national emergency, which gives Trump the ability to do it. The reason Trump hasn't done it in the past, though, is you can be sure once he declares a national emergency, once he starts, he directs the military to build the wall, there are going to be lawsuits and they will be done in the Ninth Circuit Court in California and you can be sure the judge is going to put a kibosh to it until it goes to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court confirms that the President of the United States fully has the authority to do what he's doing. So a long court battle is not what Trump wants, but there is probably some indication on the part of the Democrats who want out from underneath of this border wall because they know it's not something that the American people are going to let lie. The Democratic chairman of the House Armed Services Committee admits Trump has the authority to have military build the border wall. That basically tells you that the Democrats are now acknowledging that if Trump does declare a state of emergency, if that wall gets built through the military, that it is possible that maybe they are not going to take it to court and they are not going to make a lengthy battle out of it. By doing so, it basically gets them off the hook with the majority of American people who support the building of that wall, and it gives Trump another campaign promise fulfilled, the border wall being built. And that is what a lot of Americans want. We want an end to this endless flood of people coming from South American countries into our United States, making it more and more liberal with every group. You also should be aware that in recent surveys of the countries these people are coming from, there are actually 6.5 million people who have expressed interest in coming to America. 6.5 million. Stop and think about the 116 billion we spent last year on the immigrants that are already here. And you're talking about an almost doubling if everyone who comes wants to arrives. So you're probably talking about $230 billion a year being wasted on immigrants that can't speak English. And in most cases, their education level is so low they will never integrate into society the way the Democrats suggest they will. We already have laws that allow farmers to bring Mexicans up during harvest time, 
Give them a job, let them harvest, and then send them back home. Why do we need permanent welfare puppies here? And in most cases, they're going to move to states where there's no farming anyway. They aren't going to provide any useful service other than to be a drag on the economy. And even worse, when you look at some of the areas we have homeless problems in this country, we could solve the homeless problems with far less money than it takes to pay and take care of all these illegal immigrants. What we're also finding out is that a lot of these illegal immigrants are arriving with diseases and need medical attention. And guess what the United States is doing? As soon as we catch one that needs medical attention, they get it, and the United States pays for it. You, the taxpayer, pays for it. Think about all the areas that this money could be used for American citizens, not foreigners. I fail to understand why the Democratic Party would choose foreign votes and the spending of billions upon billions upon billions of dollars and ignore the American people. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, ladies and gentlemen, over the coming weeks, I have a feeling we will declare a national emergency, Trump will get to build the wall, and everyone will be happy in the end. With that said, I hope you'll take the time to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.